of course in a middleweight bout. I'm going to do clinch grapple or takedowns. Go takedowns in case I need it. Izzy is a crazy ass kickboxer. We know this. Let's do it. We're going to watch the intros because it's Israel. And he's one of my favourites. I know he's controversial, but I'm an Aussie, so you see why I like him. Him and Robert Whitaker. Love them both. Right, spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming the middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pareda represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup here tonight. All right, so the latest title defense arrives here and now for the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. And prevailing wisdom is it's going to take a huge effort out of the challenger tonight to dethrone this dominant king. Absolutely. You do not beat this guy without being on your A game. And not even just your A game is going to get it done. You have got to overachieve in order to beat this guy. This guy is firmly entrenched as the best in the world. at him you know he's the best from the way he carries himself to the confidence to the skill set he's the champ and he doesn't intend for that to change seemed as though it was maybe a difficult weight cut or more difficult than ones prior but he didn't want to hear any of that noise in advance of this latest middleweight championship title defense Our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Israel, the last guy of Bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing.
introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, El Presidente. Let's fucking get it. Respect to you, Izzy. Straight up. I like the sh short shift. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna try it. I got him. It's over. 19 seconds. Oh my god. I don't know what happened there. His head health wasn't even all the way down, but the strike was like a knockout strike. Bro, I'll take her. Against Izzy. That's one of the greatest performances of all time. 19 seconds. That's Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor. Type shit. That's crazy. All right, here one more time. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to this contest at 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, El Presidente. In real time, because that's and exhilarated. The king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight. That's going to be about the 15 seconds, defense, and that's got to feel pretty maybe good. even there less. A lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight. So but impressive. Right, see who's next. We'll smash the training camp. And get straight into the fight again. I got performance and night bonus, thank you. If I didn't, that would have been pretty hey yo. Know what I'm saying. Boom, another title defense added to the belt. Looks good. Looks good. KO of the night, year, century, Dana White said. That's... Hey, I appreciate that, Dana. I'm two things away from uh, becoming a goat, some shall say. All I need to do is get four more UFC wins or three more title defenses. Very possible. We got Dracus again. Apparently he's earned his way up, so hey, we'll give it to him. We're gonna skip the intros on this fellow though, because he doesn't deserve it. And I'll show you what you can do now that you've trained all the way through your career. You can simulate basically your whole training camp. We'll do two boxing this time. I gotta remember to hype because that's one of my goals at the moment. So that's why I haven't gone in at peak fitness a little bit broken in that way, if you know you know, but prime time, we'll do that one, and that one, so it gets the hype to very high, so I don't go do any of that, just straight back to training, heavy bag, wrestling, why not? We do the 10 hype just to gain fans, get close to that objective of mine. Nearly at 7 mil, we need 8 mil. Boom, already in week 4, ladies and gentlemen. It goes fast. Do one of those. One of those. We've got moderate fitness. We're just not going to reach peak, but that's okay. 
do two heavy bags because I only take 40. Less risk of injury too. Go to height. Promotions. Post to social media. And we're up to 7 million fans. All we gotta do is put some points to our fighter. We got kick speed. And... Leg strength recovery. I'm gonna go recovery. And all of a sudden it's fight week. Let's get it. I don't like this guy in real life. I think he's a bit cocky. His beef with Izzy was just pointless. I know Izzy came off a dick as well, but... Yeah, I just Martel kind of found it stupid. Alright, let's get it. Nice body kick. He could have folded as quickly as Izzy did. I hope not. Chance. Just try and submit this motherfucker. Ooh, tried to axe kick early on. Hand plant. Hold oh, on, we're getting fancy. We're getting fancy. If he takes me down, I'll submit him. If not, I knock his ass out. Ooh, he does the front kick. What did he do? Took me down. Big ground and pop. Armbar. I'm gonna go for it straight away. Just to break his sub a little bit. I'm gonna have to do it twice. And make it look nice. Go back to full mount. Sink in the armbar. It's done. That's how easy it is. I am the GOAT. That's why. Shinitsu took me down. The submission offense all the way up. And arm bars, I believe. Five star, basically. I'll let Bruce do his thing. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans. I'm going to stop this contest. At one minute, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. Would you look at that? And still, baby. Clean victories. Two of them. Apparently I began a rivalry. Maybe Dirk has got upset. I definitely got 77k fans from that dude. Should we get like 100 to 200k? I'm a champ. I mean, uh, 7 million is quite a lot. I'm thankful. Oh. That's where we're going to leave the episode, I believe, though. We'll see who we get offered. We'll try to make this episode a little bit shorter because we're coming back to the end of our career. And our next opponent will be Jared Cannonier. Accept that shit. I don't say no to nothing. We're out here trying to be GOAT. This is where my GOAT status looks like. And that's where I'll leave it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>